Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn Daily Energy for Wednesday, August 25th. And this may or may not resonate with you. If it does, take what does. If it does not, leave what does not. Also, you have the power to change my life for the better just by liking, subscribing, and watching my video all the way through. I greatly appreciate any and all of your support. All right. Oh, I should get my... What did I do with my... Where are my... There they are. Sorry for my arm. Empowering questions. Maybe we'll end with that. Let's end with that. All right, so we had the hangman pop out. We have the Hangman, we have the Five of Swords, we have the Four of Cups, we have the Queen of Swords, we have the Seven of Cups. Inspiration. Okay, when I, I almost said the Seven of Inspiration. So for some reason, the word inspiration popped out for me. Nine of Pentacles. Queen of Cups, uh, Knight of Cups, Three of Cups, and Knight of Wands. I almost feel like this represents a couple here. All right. I feel like you're almost going from frustration, um, irritation, um, <coughs> <coughs> almost like feeling lonely, um, and then all of a sudden it's like things turn around and you get inspired and something inspires you, something makes you come alive, something makes you happy, something I love this card. I love the Nine of Pentacles. She looks so happy. She's in her garden. She's got all her pentacles. She's wearing this beautiful dress. She has the dove on her hand. And then it's like, you know, we have the Queen of the Queen of Cups and she's just sitting in this beautiful ocean and I feel like she feels peaceful. She feels good. And then all of a sudden this offer comes in like this prince charming you know, it doesn't have to be, you know, just per se. This person comes along and offers this cup because he sees how happy she is. He sees um, the beautiful, like the light shining from her. And then I feel like it, like your, you, your, your, your attitude totally turns around. Um, Overall energy, we have the um, Knight of Wands, and I feel like that's, you know, getting ready to move forward. The Knight of Wands is about taking action and, and doing things. Um, this hangman came out, and I feel like it's almost like you've stepped back and you're, you're you're either looking at other couples that are happy or you're kind of stepping away from drama um, or you're stepping away from a situation or you're stepping away from almost like other people keep telling you what to do or something about your relationship and they keep getting involved and you're like, you know what, I'm just gonna step back and I'm really gonna listen to what it is that you're saying. And then I feel like it's almost like you walk away from that. Like this person is on their knees and this person's got their swords and he's like, I'm heading this way, like you stay back that way. Um, and I almost feel like it has, you know, the two people here, 
looking at it, analyzing it, and you decide that you're going to walk away from this drama, you're going to walk away from this energy because this energy has been kind of frustrating for you and holding you back. And then all of a sudden we come down to the Queen of Swords and she's got her sword up in the air and she has this rock thrown up in the clouds that is somehow staying in the clouds, um, that she is willing it to be. And wanting to turn that energy around from this sort of heaviness here but I feel like you're looking at something you're looking at this energy you're looking at these people you're looking at um, the situation then all of a sudden it turns around and it becomes lighter and it becomes happy sometimes we have to step away from a situation we have to step back and we have to see what's going we because when we're involved in it we can't see what's going on but when we step away i feel like you can see it clearer and i feel like that's what that hangman was cuz that that hangman just you know when i was shuffling just literally fell out of the the deck So maybe today is a day for you to step back and really look at something, something that's bothering you, something that's, I feel like holding you back from happiness. Yeah, look at that. It's exactly what I was saying, the death card, okay? The death card represents something that we are holding on to that is no longer no longer useful to us, that is no longer, you know, pert pertinent for us, that is no longer something that is needed cuz we're holding on to it for whatever reason. So we need to let that go. And the death card also represents transition and transformation. So I f I feel like this, you know, reading is transformation going from this heaviness and then all of a sudden deciding that you're going to make some changes and being inspired and then all of a sudden this this happy energy this positive energy comes in this is something that we have to recognize this is something that we have to see and this is this is effort that we have to make five of swords um, could be something catches you by surprise or once you realize this, once you let go of this energy, all of a sudden things start moving quickly. Things start churning around. Things start changing. Um, look at that. We've got the Ten of Cups right on top of that Four of Cups, making that change, going from Four of Cups, kind of this gray, being alone, you know, looking at those spilt cups, to Ten of Cups, where it's bright, it's got the rainbow, it's got all the cups, the green grass, you know, the the people sitting on the bench, you know, knitting and having fun. Oh, a new relationship. I feel like there's a new relationship coming in. Now, this could be a reconnection with a current relationship. This could be, you know, maybe other people are butting into your relationship and saying their two cents, and that's something that you have to look at, and you have to back away from that and make those changes, and then start focusing of just you and your relationship with your person, or it could be you know these energies of a new relationship coming in because ace of cups represents a new relationship or it represents a reconciliation <clears throat> it could be somebody coming in from your past that comes in but other people are saying no you shouldn't go with that person because this that and this that but you're like no i want to give that person a chance you know that's your decision that's your choice what you want to do <coughs> it could be you know, working things out on your current relationship. Being inspired, all of a sudden you have that aha moment, that seven of cups. And I feel like that represents you, the queen of pentacles. <clears throat> it's you getting back to yourself. We have the nine of pentacles and the sun card. How beautiful is that? How beautiful is that? Um, 
The Nine of Pentacles is getting those rewards for that hard work that you've put in, for that work that you've done to realize that, hey, I feel like there's this energy that's working against me or there's this energy that I'm holding on to that I don't need to hold on to anymore and I'm going to let that go. I finally realized that. And then we have the Sun card. We have the Queen of Cups and then we have the King of Swords. Um, I definitely feel like there's a relationship, there's a connection. <clears throat> the King of Swords could also just be about thinking about things in a different way, looking at things from a different perspective. Oh, look at that, and we have the King and Queen of Swords. I feel like there is a relationship coming in. Um, and then yesterday's, I think yesterday's was about a new relationship coming in, and I feel like that's you know, again, we have the Ace of Cups, the King and Queen of Swords. I felt like these two cards represented a relationship. Um, then we have, yeah, Three of Cups, a new beginning, happiness, a new start, the Fool card, taking those steps, taking that leap of faith, a new beginning. There's, there's a whole new beginning coming in here. Like I said, it could represent a new relationship. It could represent a new connection, a stronger connection with your current relationship, sort of realizing things, working through things. And then it's like, I feel like this is stomping out that heartbreak, stomping, stomping out that, that three of swords. Like he's, I feel like him with all his muscles and he's, you know, he doesn't even have armor on. Like he's really brave, you know, like he's, like, I'm not going to put armor on. I'm just going to go in, you know, right as I am. And I'm going to stomp out that heartbreak. I'm going to stomp out that three of, three of swords. I'm not even going to worry about that anymore. And I feel like that's, I feel like that's what that represents. All right, so let's get an empower, let's close out with an empowering. That one literally flipped over. How have I become me? What am I like? But I feel like that also represents a lot of change. Have I let other people influence me? All right, let's pick another card. I just want to do one more. What is my gift to the world? Ooh, that's a cool question. What is my gift to the world? All right, let me see. I feel like maybe one more. Let's do one of these. I really love this reading. I think it's really beautiful and you can easily see the progression of <clears throat> what's going on here. All right, Seeker of Orbs. That's a cool one. I haven't seen that one yet. The Seeker of Orbs is the um, Page of Swords. So this has been delayed. This has been, this has been delayed because you are holding on to that. But it's almost like she's looking. She's kind of going through that cave you know, going through things and, and finding her way, having that light that lights her way. And then her necklace is sort of glowing there, feeling, feeling within, stomping out that, stomping that out, releasing what is no longer working for you and embracing all this beautiful energy, this new relationship that's coming in or this reconnection with a current relationship or someone from your past. All right, thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.